In today's podcast episode, we're going to talk about why you need to stop listening to people that don't run a detailing business. Specifically, we're going to cover TikTok. This is a detailing business class podcast. And happy Tuesday. Glad to have you here on a podcast episode. We're talking about why you need to stop listening to people who don't run, who don't run a detailing business or a business in general. And you'll see why it's very important to do so. But first, um, I've been mentioning it on my Instagram and some YouTube videos that on this Monday, August 1st, I will be opening up enrollments into my online marketing course, SEO for Detailers. So this is SEO for Detailers is the online course that teaches you how to rank your website on the first page of Google in your area for targeted keywords. So let's say you're in Austin. You want to rank for keywords like paint correction, Austin, mobile auto detailing, Austin, um, headlight restoration, Austin. So that's going to open up this Monday. The first, if you're interested in joining, uh, you can check the, um, the show notes or the description box down below and sign up for the waiting list. So let's go ahead and get started. I, I My goal is to have this as a, a shorter form podcast because I really want to get straight to the point. Let me grab my phone right here because we were actually going to need this. Um, so I posted a TikTok because I post on Instagram and TikTok now. Um, I, I still post way more on Instagram than I do on TikTok, but nonetheless, I do post on TikTok. And I posted this little reel, which I also posted on Instagram, and then I, I, I posted it on, on TikTok. And this one garnered, uh, it's the highest viewed video. It has, where is it at? I think it has, uh, yes, it has 235,000 views and 633 comments. Now, the gist of the of the, of the the TikTok or the, the reel is um, I was basically talking about a $400 detail versus a $100 detail. And from this video, I literally have received hundreds of comments from people saying I'm a ripoff, that I'm scamming customers, that my customers are dumb for paying this much, that I'm taking advantage of them, that my business will fail in a couple of years. Um, and like, in, in if you, you, can, you can go to my TikTok, it's, it's Detail Groove Co. on TikTok, and you can, you can find that video. And uh, I was responding for a while, but then it just kept on getting more and more comments, so I stopped replying. Um, but what you have to realize, though, is that 100% of the people leaving those comments on this short little video are not running a business, are not business owners, and if they are running some sort of business, can guarantee you without a shadow of a doubt they're either struggling to survive, barely getting by, or are simply not growing to any capacity. So if we scroll through here, um, and, I, and, I, and I'll just read a few of them. I, like The video is literally like, 10 seconds long and, and it really started getting some some people kind of, kind of not mad but um just kind of against the price of charging four hundred dollars and i didn't i didn't give any details to what a four hundred dollar detail is i just i just said four hundred i just i just choose random numbers when i'm like talking about pricing on videos because they're just random numbers um so anyway so like let's see here here's just a few comments uh bro is smoking uh bro is smoking smoking um lmao 400 to clean a car i'm dead uh, I better not find a crumb. Um, uh, $400 for a detail. I'll do it myself and buy all the equipment. Um, yeah, I'll go with the $100 detailer. $400 just to get it dirty within two weeks. Charging landscaping pricing. Uh, does it come with an oil chain? And, and don't get me wrong. I, I like the trolls. I like... I find them amusing. So I do actually respond to them. I, I never get into an argument because I remember... The one time I generally got into an argument in the comment section was back in like 2017 and I went like back and forth with some person on YouTube and like 30 seconds later after like we ended up or after like after a few back and forth messages, I looked back at that conversation and I was like, what was the point of that? What was the point of me arguing with someone on the YouTube comment section about something? You know, it like it was all arbitrary and fake and like it didn't mean anything. So since that day, I've never argued with someone. So I will reply to a troll to entertain them, right? Just to just for 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 laughs and giggles. But I never like actually argue with anyone because it just it's not worth it. But I I do find trolls amusing. Like I do enjoy commenting back. Um so let's see. A few more comments here. Um 
It says, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a mechanic on planes and helicopters. Our diesel guy charged 175 for a full diesel on small planes and helicopters. 400 is way too much. Um, does it come with a full gas tank? What the heck does it come? What what the what does 400 come with? Um, let's see here. Uh, but it's like it's literally like comments off. To, like there's hundreds of comments that are in this kind of um, manner of like, dude, you're tripping. Like this is a scam. You're a ripoff, dude. You're gonna go out of business. Um, wow, four hundred dollars. Is that for Ferrari cars only? Um, let's see here. Um, let's see here. Yeah, so it's basically the entire comments. I mean, and you, and, you know, feel free to go and, and take a look at the video because I'm not going to delete it or anything. Again, I find it amusing to, to have all those comments there. Um, so anyways, yeah, so what you have to realize is there is a distinct difference between running an actual business with actual paying customers, right, and then social media stuff, right? So if I was a brand new detailer or business owner and I went to that comment section I'd be almost scared to raise my prices. It's like, whoa, is this how people think? Oh, no, like if all these comments are saying that's too much and, you know, I can't charge over, you know, 200 because people are going to get mad at me for that. And what's important to know is that people vote with their wallet, not with their mouth, meaning of all the hundreds and hundreds of comments that I received on that video, right? None of those people in any way would even reach out to us to get their vehicle detailed. I think that's something my... They wouldn't reach out to us to get something, uh, to get their vehicle detailed, right? So it, it it does me no good whatsoever to put any kind of weight in their words if it's just a comment on a TikTok video. They're not my target my audience. They're not my customers. They're not in my area. They don't value their vehicle. They don't value quality detailing services. So it's like, that's not the person that I'm selling to, right? Um, the people that do pay us the 200 the 400 the 800 the 1200 the 1400 the 1800 those people aren't in the comment section on TikTok, right? Because they actually value those services. They, they don't mind paying, not that they don't mind, but they see the value in what we're doing in their vehicle, in getting it done by a reputable, reputable detailer. And they're willing to uh, pay top dollar to get that done. And it's like, I, I, I've done a, quite a few uh, responses to, um, to some of these comments. Um, as far as like, and again, I'm I'm not here to 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 uh, get in a debate or an argument with anyone. I just try to show my side of what we do, and literally every time I make any response, everyone just comes back with that with kind of the, the that hater mentality of like that's too much, you're scamming, you're rip off, dude. Wait till you out of business, whatever, whatever. And it's like don't get caught up in the social media. Like I don't I don't mind what bit one bit getting hundreds and hundreds of comments of trolls of haters of people saying that I'm a rip off, because since that video till today. We've continued to book out the schedule with $400 jobs, $500 jobs, $600 jobs, $1,200 jobs. Like that video, even if it gets to a million views, if it gets to, you know, 4,000 comments and most of which are being like haters or trolls, it has not impacted our business. It's not, it's, it has done nothing to our business. So it's like, if you are, if you, if you look at something online and you see like a backlash, quote unquote, of like, whoa, okay, that's too much. I, I can't charge that. Says who? You know, the people on TikTok leaving these comments are not my customers, are not the primary target market. Most of them probably don't value their vehicle, right? In that way that they don't value their vehicle in the way of the ideal customers that we want to attract, right? So they might value the customer as their, their vehicle as far as like they're not going to wreck it, right? They're, they 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 get their oil changed, you know, in, in the timely manner. But they don't value it as far as like, I want to make sure the interior is top notch. It's, it's cleaned by someone reputable. I want to make sure that my paint is protected or coated or whatever. Like there's there's differences in, in, in way that someone can value their vehicle, right? So I can guarantee you 95, 99% of those people leaving those comments would not hire us in the first place because they're not our kind of target market, you know? Um, so it's like, don't look at anything social media and be like, oh, okay, I guess, I guess that's true. No, the way you know if something works, the way you know if you're charging too much or too little is by people telling you yes or no to your services, right? Like people ask me all the time, hey, is this a good, is this a good price for this service? Is this a good price for these services? It's like, dude, the way you'll know if, 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 if it's too high or too low is when you get on the phone and you talk to someone and you're talking to an actual human being and you say, yes, for that service, it's going to be $80 or $180 or $380 until like that is the true test of like, is this too high or too low? Not, not asking someone, hey, did, you know, not, not asking me that you live in, you know, Colorado and I'm here in Houston and you're like, hey, is this, is this too, is this too high? It's like, dude, I, I don't know. 
I don't know your, your, your business. I don't know your services. I don't know who you're selling to. I don't know who you're attracted to your business. I don't know your confidence. I don't know your communication skills, right? Like, I don't know all these things, so I don't know, you know? Like, you can only know if it's too expensive or if people are going to buy once you actually start selling it. What people say on social media is irrelevant, is fake. It's not truth. They're not the customers. They're not the one with the money, All right? So if you want true validation of what's expensive or what's not, go and actually try to sell it to actual people that would actually spend money on this, that would actually, you know, give over their hard-earned money to detail their vehicle. Um, let's see here. So let's see. I'm looking at my notes for those that are not uh, watching this on YouTube. By the way, I do make these into, uh, into YouTube videos. So if you're interested in it, it's literally the exact same thing. I just talk. I mean, I, I'm just recording the podcast. Episode. Plus, the I would like to say that the that the setup here is pretty nice. I have I have three of my favorite movies uh, in the or two. I have two of my favorite movies, which is Black Hawk Down, and then Moneyball, and then I have a nice little LED light bar. Anyways, if you look at it on YouTube, it's nice to look at. It's the same thing. It's just you're actually watching me talk. If that if that matters at all. Um. So yeah. So if you ever like, if you ever post anything on social media about your pricing you will most likely not get some type of feedback of like, dude, that's crazy. Dude, that's expensive. Dude, why are you charging so much? It's going to happen. Like, don't get, don't put any weight behind what a comment says. If, you, if your customers are paying you money, if your customers are happy with what you're doing, if your customers are satisfied with your, with your results, if your customers are referring you to their friends and family, if your customers are bringing back their other vehicles to get serviced by you, it does not matter what social media says. It has no bearing to what you do with your business. It's so like, I, and I, I, can, I continue to, to, to post videos on TikTok um, about pricing and such because every time I post a, a um, every time I post a, a video, like you just get, I get dozens of comments of like, dude, you're tripping, you're, 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 you know, you're a ripoff, you're scamming people. And it's like, bro, go look at our schedule. You think every single, like, it's just, it's, it's so like, it's, you know, ignorant to some degree. Um, and actually, let me let me see if I can play you the video. Like, look how short this video is. Let me see. I'm, I'm, I'm going to play it right now. Give me one second. There you go. Man. Yeah, so it'll be about $400 for the detail. $400? Man, the guy down the street can do it for $100. Can you match that? Unfortunately, we can't, but that sounds like a good deal. You should go with him. Yes. Yeah, so, so that little video right there is what stirred up all the, which is great that it's getting views. But, like, you definitely go to it and just go and read the comment. It's like, I don't, like, I... Once you actually know what your business really consists of and what it is and, and like what drives the business and like how you attract customers and like your, the value you provide to the customers, like I don't care what they say. I, that's why I'm happy to reply to the trolls. I'm, I'm happy to, to make more videos because like I, it, it holds no bearing toward me on how I feel about the business or what we're charging or, or, or the services that we're offering because like I know the customers that we have and trust me, they're not some, you know, TikTok user that's, you know, 19 years old that's saying we're charging too much it's it, it just that's not how it works you know so i'll keep this one short just because i really wanted to make a topic on this one um on those specific comments again i, I it, my tiktok is Dita groove co go give it a go give it a watch and just scroll through the comments and just read them read them look at the responses that i have um on tiktok and just you know get yourself a nice little chuckle so i'll go ahead and end it all right here again this monday august 1st I'm opening up enrollments into SEO for detailers. You can get on the waiting list down below. But other than that, I'll wrap it up, keep it short, and I'll see you on the next one. Or maybe you'll hear me on the next one. Depends. Okay, bye-bye.